My name is Tommy Joyce. I'm Louis Medeiros. My name is Susie Thies. I'm Joshua Van Powder. I'm a director and cinematographer. Outdoor filmmaker and photographer. I am a filmmaker. And I'm a filmer. It's tough to say what, what my style is. I'm basically bringing cinema quality camera equipment and I'm bringing it into the backcountry. Some of my first projects were documenting World Cup ski racing when DSLRs started to have video capabilities. A lot of it was trial and error. I would just throw stuff on the computer. Um, if I saw somebody do something cool that I liked in their video, I'd kind of look up how to do that. I'm constantly looking for ways to push myself as a creative. Hiking a little bit farther to get a little bit better of an angle or investing in the latest equipment to get a more cinematic shot, and that's the most fun part of the process. How I pack in general is I do a giant explode view from cameras to underwear. And as you're packing, you're evaluating what you're gonna eliminate and what you're taking with. I really try to pick my gear based on whatever the shoot may be. If it's a big day where you're gonna be climbing, you might wanna bring a smaller mirrorless setup that's gonna make your pack lighter. Any bit of weight you can save is huge. We got our stove. Water, boots, it's a pretty good hang. I'm always hyper-focused on a good layering system. It needs to be both breathable, but also keep you warm. It needs to wick sweat, but also keep you dry. So I'm just thinking, you know, what's the weather like? What do I have? What didn't I wash? You know, stuff like that. As many layers as you have in your pack, because oftentimes it can be pretty cold after you've essentially just worked out to get to the place you're trying to shoot. So you have your base layer, your mid layer, and your outer layer. Having a base layer that can shed a bit more moisture like the Columbia Helix is going to be your best friend. With shooting winter sports, there are tons of challenges. It takes a lot for everything to line up to get that perfect shot. Because sometimes that one shot might have required a five hour hike up a mountain on the opposite side of the valley with a huge long lens to shoot all the way across the valley and make this three second clip. I would say some things people don't see when, you know, they're watching a highlight reel is the energy that has to be, you know, in the air to get a great shot. It's always a dance between me and an athlete, and it's really cool to watch um, athletes get, get more and more comfortable with trying more and more extreme shit. Being with your film crew following an athlete in the mountains is one of the most camaraderie-oriented experiences you can possibly have. The athlete is there trying to achieve something that potentially no one has done before, and you're trying to document that process. And the level of teamwork that goes into that is really both fun and rewarding. Three, two, one, action! Oh my God. Woo! Yeah. I went up to a island up in northern Alaska, and I got to film polar bears migrating. And at one point, there was 80 polar bears just ripping around me. It was one of the most surreal environments that I've ever been in. This past year, I helped with an all-women ski film, and my favorite segment that we shot was in Alaska. And it was just kind of one of those magic shoots where everything comes together. I woke up in the middle of the night, crawled through the snow, and I set up a time lapse that captured the entire Milky Way over Annapurna. And when I reviewed those frames on my frozen camera, I was just so proud of myself for getting out of my sleeping bag. That one will always feel really special. Everything I look back on, I'm stoked on. I really appreciate my process and my creativity and just being myself. So it's just an honor to honestly be a part of it and just kind of have that in my history. We get blessed with these moments. Like, yeah, things are sometimes shitty and it's cold at 5 a.m., but all of a sudden you get this magic light or this magic moment. It's like the more you put in, the more you get out. It's dark when you get up in the morning. It's cold when you get out there at first. 
but when the sun finally hits your face, you're all set up to film. There's just something about the way those stars all align that make it extra, extra special. Honestly amazing to be out here right now. Wow. My message is I'm really trying to inspire people who look like me and inspire anybody who has a dream and think they can't do what they want to do. At the end of my life, I want to have a ton of good stories, and I think that's why I've chosen to do this. That's a wrap. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later. I gotta go prep. My radar says it's about to start snowing. I gotta go. Peace. <laughs>